Who's ready for some tactical espionage action? If you answered me, then you are incorrect, because the answer is actually you. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. That's just one of the many, you know, plot twists that Kojima puts into the Metal Gear series. What the hell am I talking about? Anyway, this game is Metal Gear for the MSX home computer system, and we are about to do it with card two. No, that one doesn't work. Let's try card one. Wow, they made me use card one. What are the odds of that? Anyway, last we left off, we defeated Machine Gun Kid in that very room that we were just in. And now we've already picked up a, a Parak, a Parak, a Parak Obama. Excuse me, that was a dumb joke. Anyway, um, we have to parachute somewhere. The hostages that we've rescued around here told us, hey, you know, uh, in order to get to the courtyard, you have to use a parachute, which is weird for two reasons, really. One, they got some well-informed hostages around here, which I would not expect. Like, I guess the guards just kind of get bored and talk to the hostages like, oh yeah, by the way, there's a courtyard around here that uh, you can't access unless you jump from a tall height. We use parachutes. Secondly, um, it's weird that someone in this game, I guess, hates stairs as much as I do. So they decided, like, wh whoever was the architect of this building decided, you know what? To get to this courtyard, you're gonna have to jump with a parachute from a tall height. By the way, we also got these infrared goggles last episode that allow us to see, um, these laser guards around this room. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to go to the right side of that room if you want to escape without getting spotted or detected by the, uh, by the lasers. That dude just falls asleep, by the way. Is he gonna respawn if I walk out in the back? Yes, he does. Okay, I'm sleepy. Good for him. <laughs> I'm just gonna punch him right in the junk. I didn't want to waste any bullets while I had 69 of them. Um, so anyway, the first thing that you're gonna want to do is collect that parachute, then GTFO. I don't know if I need my cardboard box here. Yeah, I definitely don't. Okay, so let's go to this elevator, and I'm guessing we have to go all the way to the top. Because... We gotta jump down from some tall area with our parachute, and it wouldn't make sense to go to the basement for that. So, let's go this way. What's over here? I just kicked something. I'm pretty sure there's a pair of sunglasses at my feet. Oh, I'm getting a call. What is this? This is Big Boss. What are you up to? Wind barrier is extended on the rooftop. What do you mean by that? Look for the bomb blast suit. To be into the barrier. What? Look for the bomb blast suit to be into the barrier. I'm pretty into this barrier, I'll tell you that. So what he means, though, is that for some reason, this building is set up in such a way that if you're on the roof, the wind will push you back into the elevator. But if you're equipped with suit, you can cross the wind barrier. What happens if I... I definitely don't want to equip a parachute at this point, but I don't... I think once you're past that little wind barrier that pushes you back like that, you can unequip the bomb blast suit and you're totally fine. Damn, I really had 69 bullets and I used one. Well, I'm gonna sneak up on this guard and punch him. By the way, watch out for pitfalls that may or may not appear in certain areas. So this game, just like every other Metal Gear game, uh, occasionally when you're just walking around, a pitfall will open up under your feet, and I'm pretty sure that's a thing in, like, every Metal Gear game. Although, to be fair, I haven't played, um, Metal Gear Solid 4 and 5 all that much. So maybe they don't happen in those games. While I was explaining about holes, uh, I also picked up some remote missiles. And, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can carry 15 of them, so let's fucking go. Yeah, now that I'm now that I've reached class level three, um, I think every time you reach a class up, you can carry more weapons and your maximum HP increases. It's called life in this game; they don't call it HP. Um, but I'm guessing. Oh, I was gonna say I'm guessing there is a pitfall on that lower right corner of this area, but I guess there was not. Oh shit, that guy saw me. All right, I was a little reckless there. 
But I can escape? Probably? <laughs> I got a little hasty there and decided that I should, uh... That I could just, like, go for it in that one room. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I really need to use a ratio right now. Is this my last one? That might be a problem. Let's go this way. Shit, I ran into a wall there. Um, I really gotta stop this alert, so why don't I... Why don't I kill some guards? That was bad. That was really bad, because now I'm super low on life, and I cannot take a hit. Um, well, there better be something good in here for me. There's bullets. I wish there was a ration in here. That would help a lot more. Okay, I got myself into a little bit of trouble. But I'm gonna collect some ammo here. Yeah, maybe like one more box. I can't imagine using 91 bullets. But also, maybe I should just be more liberal with their usage. So let's go this way. Thanks, game. Thanks for putting me in a dead end. That was very helpful. Okay, so... Honestly, I think our next mission is to find a fucking ration, because... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive... Uh, another encounter. Really? None of these cars work? Or did I not? I just didn't line it up right. I see. Okay, so who's in here? Hey! Rescued! Cool. That's all he says? That guy doesn't give me a hint? I mean, that's sort of what I expect from someone who's been in prison for a while. <clears throat> but now I gotta be super sneaky. I gotta be extra sneaky. And I need to not get shot at all, because my life is very low! I don't know if you heard me complaining about that, you know, the first couple times. Um, but also, like, maybe... Maybe I can keep killing guards until they drop a ration? Like, that might be my play at this point. So, like, maybe I could just keep respawning these two guys over and over. To see if they drop any food for me. Food is health! Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's just keep shooting this one guy over and over. He's not gonna drop anything? Maybe only certain sentries can drop a ration or bullets for me. Because right now, like, I'm killing the same guy over and over. And if it's like a percentage chance to drop a ration every time, I'm not getting it. So I'm gonna wait for this guy to go around the corner. Yeah, because I thought he might stop and look this way. Well, let me kill this dude and see if he drops anything. If not, I'm in a... I'm a... In a bit of a tight spot. I'm in a spot of bother. Um... Oh, shit. I immediately died. Well, that's the death sound in Metal Gear for MSX. You're welcome. I showed you that on purpose, obviously. Um, continue is... F5, which I hit, but was I too late? Oh no, was I not fast enough to hit continue? I might have to uh, load up my file and get back to where I was, so BRB, y'all. Alright, so as you can see, uh, I made it back to this room with a single hostage who tells me nothing. But I think I have to rescue him all over again. Yeah, I do. Because when the game um, makes you continue... So, like, n not only did I load my file back up, but then I got another game over. So I hit continue. Pretty much I got a game over in the same spot where I did before. So I hit continue, and it put me back in the elevator without the remote missiles that I collected. Um, <clears throat> and without that soldier having been rescued. So, let's go back this way and not get spotted by nothing or nobody. Pfft, I, that was skillful. Okay. Now, I think what I want to do is just go down here. And this is sort of a tricky part where there's like this crazy bridge, right? But if you touch the edges of the bridge, I think you get like an immediate game over. So be careful not to fall off. 
There we go. Okay, that's a little nerve-wracking down there. Holy shit! There is a jetpack soldier. What do I do about that? Holy shit, am I gonna need to use another ratio? Um, can I, like, kill these guys with anything? Well, that doesn't quite work. Oh shit! Okay, 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 so I remember this. Um, this dude sets up, like, an electrical barrier here, so you, you're gonna wanna shoot the power supply out, then immediately go into this room. Do they still see me? Yeah, they do, they're following me. Oh shit, I don't mean to be shooting missiles at them. God damn it. No, I don't want my cardboard box equipped. I think I just need to get out of here with the, what I think is the mine detector. Oh my goodness, I have like one HP left. Oh, okay, so they stopped following me. <sighs> I think this dude in the other room is gonna see me again though, is he not? So like, I might just have to make a break for it. Yeah, he is gonna see me. I'm definitely gonna get shot at this point. Unless I keep running. Yo, those guys exploded! <gasps> and, 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 and. Okay, so, so this boss is easy if you know exactly where to st where to stand. Because this helicopter dude... In fact, let me save real quick here. Okay, so, this helicopter dude can only shoot at very specific angles. And I think I found the one. So... As long as I stand, like, generally where I am now, I think I can just keep launching grenades at this guy. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting it. And I'll be totally safe. How much HP does he have? Please tell me I'm hitting him. Alright, maybe I do have to get a little bit closer. I already wasted a lot of grenades, so... I hope I'm hitting it. It's not like lighting up or flashing or anything. I could have sworn you're supposed to use grenades here. I'm out of grenades. And I killed him on my very last grenade. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Okay, um... So I hope I don't get blown up in this next screen. Because again, I have very little HP, and I really want to find some rations. Yeah, okay, that guy can't see me. Oh, okay, and this is where you use the parachute. But I want to find out... Uh, let me save one more time here. I want to find out... Um, if I just, like, jump off without the parachute? Do I die? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I land right on the ground with these dogs. Okay, so instead, I will load up my save state, equip the parachute, and find this cute little cutscene. Please tell me I don't land directly next to all those dogs. Because that would be problematic. They might chew me up and kill me. I just landed next to, uh, I was just like flying down next to all these bricks. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna need to use my mind detector pretty soon. I can't get into that room. Okay, so I'm just gonna equip this to be cautious. And shoot these dogs before they shoot me. Let's go over here! Alright, so there are no mines around here, I don't think. I don't know how I detect them. Like, maybe they just show up on the ground and I can see them. But this card gets me nowhere. None of these cards work on these doors. I can't get into this building with the cards that I have. So in that case, where do I go? I guess I'll go south. Tell me one of these cars has a ration in it. I'm gonna wait in case a guard comes out. Oh, and now that I'm looking, I can see mines all over the ground. I goofed. The lorry started to move. He calls it a lorry? You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I'm playing the European version of this game. 
Okay, so that truck brought me all the way back, and that might be a huge problem. Also, I could have sworn there was a ration in that, in that last truck. Or is this not the area from the beginning of the game with those... Did you see what happened there? I was waiting for that guy to come out, and I was like, oh, I guess he's not going to come out. So I walked around, and he immediately popped out and shot me. Okay, so I'm back here, which I think is where I need to be. Let me equip my mine detector and move around these landmines and go into this truck. Hey, here we go. That looks like a, a key card that I need. That's probably key card four. If I didn't know any better, which I don't. So I have to shoot these dogs. And I have very little life. So where does this bring me? Dr. Petrovich, it's too late. Oh, I was supposed to find Dr. Petrovich in this cell, but he's not here. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Except I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this part of Metal Gear by Konami on the MSX2 home computer system. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. I would like to extend a very sincere thank you to all of my Patreon patrons. So thank you so much, everybody, for supporting me for so long.